When this Hellblade 2 demo video got released, I was absolutely blown away. Partially because it looks so damn good. I mean, we gotta understand that this is rendered in real time on Unreal Engine 5. But mostly by the fact that the tools needed to create something like this are available to anyone. You don't need an expensive mocap studio or years of knowledge in 3D animation and whatnot. No, this is fairly doable by anyone. So as an Unreal Engine rookie myself, I want to try it out, make my own Hellblade video and see how far I can push it to create a high-end animation just like this. Now, I'm gonna use the Rokuko smart suit for the mocap. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video as well. Now, the suit is optional as you could download mocap animations all over the internet. Rokuko has their own library too, which is insanely huge. And they also have an app, Rokuko Video, which allows you to capture motion with your phone. So there are many possibilities today to get an animation for your character. Now, the smart suit itself, of course, gives you much more control and detail. All the sensors are tucked away in the suit, it also ships like that, so you don't need to worry about it. Now, I got the performance capture bundle, which also comes with the smart gloves. They just plug into the suit, there's no additional wiring needed. And everything is powered with a simple power bank. It is a super fast workflow. And by the way, this bundle just got a whole lot cheaper, and although 3 grand is still a lot of money, for a motion capture suit like this, it is actually very affordable. Mocap suits used to cost tens of thousands of dollars, so if you're interested, check out the link down below to learn all about the Rokoko Smart Suit Bundle. Now, it connects wirelessly through your Wi-Fi straight into Rokoko Studio. And here we can view, capture, and export the mocap. Now, one of the most amazing things about the Hellblade video is the face motion capture. Rokoko also have their own app for that, which streams the face motion directly into Rokoko Studio. But as we know, we can make use of the new MetaHumans animator, which works through the Lifelink app. This one has a much more detailed capture, but it cannot do that in real time. It's not a problem right now. What is a problem though, is that I always need to look straight into the camera, which doesn't really work with the current setup. Now, Rokoko, however, is working on a better face rig that solves this issue, which is not out yet, but you can pre-order it. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. For now, I'm gonna have to DIY something. So I came up with this abomination, which is basically just a bicycle helmet. We got the iPhone, right there and a light because in order for meta human animator to work you can't have any light changes on your face so if i'm going to turn around walk around i need the light on my face to be evenly lit hence the light and finally on the back we got a counterweight we're just making this whole thing in balance but also super heavy it's not ideal but it works i'm not here to appease your gods i'm here to destroy them you are not creative. Now, working in Unreal, it's obvious that we're gonna use meta humans, but the problem is that they look way too clean. Definitely, if you want to recreate the Hellblade demo, I would need some blood or dirt on my face. And here's where I found that you can actually paint such things on the meta human. And there are multiple ways of doing this. The most popular one is through Adobe Substance Painter, which has probably the most options and flexibility. But although it's an Adobe app, it's not part of your normal subscription, so it costs an extra monthly fee. Alternatively, you can use Quixel mixer which is free just make sure you enable all the smart material packs when installing it so that you can use all of these assets now i'm gonna go quickly over this process i'll leave an in-depth tutorial in the description but basically you export all the meta human textures you also export the head mesh which you want to import in blender to take out the eyes and the inner mount and import that face mesh and the textures into quixel mixer and here we can start blending different textures, draw with brushes, whatever you want to create the look that you're going for. And when you're done, you can just export your textures and replace them with the ones in Unreal Engine. All right, we've got a good looking meta human. I also gave it some other clothes, something that I just bought from the marketplace. And now I want to add my mocap to it. Now the face and the body are two separate animations. The face animation needs to be processed, which we made an entire tutorial about a while back. I'll link to it in the description below. But once that is processed, you'll end up with an animation file. The body mocap works different. You see, it's being captured onto a skeleton from Rokoko, but we need to fit that onto the skeleton of the meta human. And by the way, there are a ton of tools to clean up your mocap and whatnot in Rokoko Studio. But if you buy one of these suits, Rokoko actually has a ton of training online to get you started with mocap. Now we can export that mocap for Unreal Engine, but that's for the Unreal Mannequin. Luckily, it has a very similar skeleton. Now there are a thousand ways 
ways to get the mannequin skeleton onto the meta human skeleton. Now the way that I did it was just by baking the animation onto the meta human and then adding an additive property to alter the skeleton position and rotation. It's not the most precise way of doing it, but it's definitely the fastest. And this is one of the tips that I learned from the Rokoko community on their Discord server, which you guys just have to join if you get one of these suits because everyone there is super helpful. All right, we're almost there. My meta human looks great, but not the environment yet. But that's the easiest part. You just drag and drop a bunch of stuff from the Quixel library. Now for the night sky, I'm actually using ultra dynamic sky and it costs some money, but it is worth every penny. Any imaginable weather, be it the northern lights, rain, a dust storm, whatnot, anything is possible. Now finally, I wanted to add some fire torches and we can actually use a preset for that. After you enable the Niagara flute plugin, you can create a new Niagara system and choose a fire preset. And I just drag that into your scene and it works. Furthermore, I just looked at the reference from Hellblade to recreate the lighting. Now I gotta give a big thanks to Noah who has been doing an internship here at Cinecom. He made the entire scene and figured all the technical stuff out. He did an amazing job on the art, so thank you so much Noah. And without further ado, here is our Hellblade recreation. I see through your lies. I am not here to appease your gods. I am here to destroy them. You will not stay creative. Now, if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how to work with the Rokoko suit, definitely let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, check out the video here on my left to learn step by step how to get the new face capture onto the meta human. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.